Okay, so as of January 24th, Beatrice got the new update, which changed the behavior of rogues so they're normal again. They don't do this stupid thing where they push you and you have to cheese them by going in a key room or anything. So I'll show you a super easy route that you can do is USEC or Bayer, it does not matter which faction you are, where you can go through the compound, kill all the rogues quick in a consistent manner, and get your quest done. I'm going to be rocking the OPS KS for this, which is pretty much stock with the Vortex on here and a large mag. You can rock the PSO scope, whatever you want, but I'll be using this at PS Emma. This will be my budget loadout for this, and I'm using a budget armor as well. I'll show you guys how it's done. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to farm the rogues after the new update. They don't push you anymore. Really easy. This works for you, Psycho Bear. Uh, this goes by much easier. You don't got to worry about them running you down or anything. You can just snipe them again. We're rocking this budget SKS. is an awful spawn for this, and I pray that we get this done first take. This one is pretty safe. It was not as safe before the update, but now they don't push you. It's pretty good. This works for you, Psycho Bear. It does not matter. It's the same thing. Okay, once you get over these rocks, you want to go between... This mansion and this uh, convenience store over here. It doesn't really matter where you are, just between them. I'm right, get a little bit of stamina here if you don't have it. Until like three quarters of a bar. Alright, this part is kind of sketchy, but like if you watched my last video, you know this is pretty easy. You're gonna run across the bridge and you're gonna get shot at, but as long as you don't get stuck on the railing, you won't die. So, you run up the railing this way, and once you get to about like this bar, jump to be behind the van. And you're blocking the MG gunner from shooting you. In a right hand peek, use your Alt D to peek out here. Take that shot, that one's dead. Then you're gonna run and jump across right here. And run down this hill. Now if you see this blue van right here or green, this is gonna be your cover from that gunner. So you have to come up with this van in line with the gunner. You come around this way, go between these two trees. And this blocks the gunner from killing you. The one on this roof might shoot at you, it might not, no big deal. Peek through, you're gonna see if he's just still up there, if he ran down. If the gun's like that, he's still up there. So come around this way. Kill that one. The one on the roof shooting at me, but it's fine. Now, once we get here, you're gonna peek through this window and shoot that one. Now, it's the first three dad, really easy. Now, this AGS gunner used to not shoot me when I peeked here, but it's been killing me a lot when I peeked there. So I go this way now. After you kill that roof gunner, you peek this way. This pole in line with, like, this tank right here. And you're going to look for the AGS gunner. I have tremors from the SJ-6. Give me a second. Got a terrible time for this. There we go. It's gone. Aim, like, a mil dot or a mil dot and a half up like that. You one-tap him. Now, after you kill these two, uh, this back gunner might rotate up here, or a back AGS gunner might come over. So, if you want to play it safe, you can run down uh, into this warehouse. So, what I would probably do is, if you don't want to die to one of the gunners rotating, is come through this way. You can peek right here and double check if the gunner rotated. Right through, like, these trees, you can see the gun right here. If you didn't rotate, you're good to go loot this. Check that, got a mule. I wouldn't loot these rogues yet. I'm gonna be careful of the gunners. I think one just rotated actually. I think I just seen him on this left roof. I can swap shoulder and peek out here slowly. Maybe not. Maybe I'm trolling. Oh, he didn't rotate. We're good. Thought I saw it. But if he did, you would just peek him from there. And now, once you get closer, there can be ground rogues and there can be ones in the compound. As long as you use this truck as cover, you're fine. You can peek the AGS gunner from here, see if he rotated. If he didn't, and this one didn't rotate, you can go mark your tank, you're safe, you're good to go, or you can go loot up the middle and then come back. That's a normal scav, so we're fine. But rogues could be here. Usually how I do this is I run across this way, and they'll aggro you when you get behind here. You just take peeks from this way. If they don't do that, though, you can just loot this. Check for the Bitcoin there, and in that box. Peek this roof again. He didn't rotate, so you'd be good to loot all that. Just double check like I did bunch of times because they can rotate randomly you can't really predict it so just like keep checking throughout the raid now we're going to push through here rogues can be in the ground in this warehouse they didn't push me but if they did usually how it happens is one push down the middle here one comes down the side right here and like one goes around the back this way you can't shoot through this fence but they can so if you got to fight this one make sure you back up and try and fight them here this one you can shoulder swap and just slowly peek out and down the middle is a free kill usually he just walks down and you peek out tap him like that check for bitcoin here 
check for your GPU or Bitcoin there. Then you got all the loot up top. You can get Tetrises and random tech things up here. Uh, hiker branches, motors, things like that. Uh, this is where your folder is for your one quest. You can get Tetrises here to check for that. There's your folder for the one quest. And out back, you can get rogues right here. So I just check for these by peeking out kind of slowly. They can be on the left side of the warehouse too. So sometimes if you open this door, just check that they're not like sitting out by those pallets or here. Sometimes they like to sit here, but like around this corner. So you'll hear them yell usually, but you know, if they're not here, you're good. They don't always spawn. Now from this back corner, you can peek out, kill the one on this back gun right here. And then usually the one on this front gun is still standing up right here. Which he is. You can kind of see silhouette, I think. I think that's him right there. I can't really see it too well, but it's fine. He's not looking at me. Then we get the back gunner right here. Uh, anyway, this gunner doesn't always, like, push you for some reason. Or doesn't go on the gun. So if he doesn't go on the gun, you either have to go up the stairs and fight him or you can ignore him. Just make sure he doesn't come back and, like, kill you. Uh, another thing, too, is farming rogues doesn't work in offline mode. Because the goons that we spawn, it, like, breaks their AI. And they don't act the same way. So if you're doing this, do it in online mode. Yeah, okay. If you don't see this one, you can ignore him. What in the scav? Check for these ones. I don't see the last one on this roof, so I'm not sure where he's at. And there is one on this roof that you can snipe from right here. So the only thing I have to worry about now is the one behind me on that roof and the one in front of me on this roof. So I would just use grenades to get these out if they don't push. But usually you can snipe that front gunner from where I showed you. If not, you can go under the gun. I'll get on it sometimes. But that's pretty much the entire rogue compound right there. It's a lot easier now. They're pretty predictable, except for the, um, what's it called? Except for the whole, like, the gunner's rotating sometimes. Because there is still one on this roof, and I have no idea where he's at right now. He's just chilling up there, because there's always two on the roof. And I don't know where the third one on this roof is. That's pretty much it. That's the full rogue route. And then, you know, you got loot spawns here, which is worth looting. Um, spawns in this box, spawns here on this shelf, industrial stuff mainly. You got like a fuel con here. You know, you got Poxstrom, which is like 12k. Uh, you got M2, which is like, what, 30k? Tubes, 15. You know, pretty good stuff. Uh, the OR room in the, of it, the building is pretty good. And what else do we got? The keys for this building, like operating room in the other one, and then the water stream plant storage room key are pretty good in here as well. I don't know. This video is kind of more about just like killing rogues for uh, for your quest to get this stuff done. That's the route that I'd be doing. There's an intel spawn on this desk. This is the water treatment plant storage room key. This one's pretty decent. Uh, you can get vertex here and here and there. And then you get a tech crate in here. They're pretty cheap keys. Pretty good. This route is really easy. Um, you'll die to player sometimes, you'll die to rogue sometimes. But if you do it that way, most of the rage you'll live. And then that's pretty much it. Aside from like this one rogue I haven't killed up here. I would just check for him like this. And there he is. See? Boom. He's dead. That was one rogue. I, I just can't find him. What's the matter? I don't know where the other one went though. And also I don't think Lighthouse is that bad. Because I tried scabbing here three times today. And every time I scabbed it was half the raid was gone by. So I actually think they fixed player scabs on Lighthouse. So I think for the first, if you're in and out of the compound in 15 minutes, it feels like you're chilling. Take the car if you're done, or take the, uh, what's it called? Or the next shot. The ground rogues pretty much only spawn at building one. On building three, they can sometimes spawn on the ground too. All right, is it worth looting the roof rogues? Uh, I don't think so, because I don't think rogue loot is very good. Most of the money that comes from rogues comes from their AFAX and their M67s being worth a lot of money. And then their ammo is kind of decent, like M855 and PS ammo is also for a lot in the flea market. But I usually feel like when I loot roof rogues, it slows me down a lot and gets me killed by either other players coming in the compound or getting sniped. And I feel like each rogue gives me about 70k worth of loot and it's just not worth going on the roof to die to that shit.